Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm Ernie Zor and I'm here with my friend Larry Housel in this 63rd video in Pure to Spring Software's FAQ series. And it is also the 8th video in our Chat GPT series. Larry, I'm happy to say I finally got the FAQ numbers correct and in order. Well, I'm happy to hear that, Ernie, because I was spending a lot of time actually studying your numbering technique and, and what was going into the, maybe the hidden meanings behind all these numbers. Right. It had something to do with the alignment of the stars and things like that. But what, <laughs> when you did study it, what did you find out? Well, uh, I didn't get close to star alignment, but I did find that people that study chaos mathematics deserve a lot more respect than what they get. You know... I I'm not sure about the relevance of that, but or was that a compliment? Or anyway, my question, I guess, is what's so chaotic about a 63rd eighth video? <laughs> you know, I don't like the way that sounded. It almost sounded like when I go down the street, they got a bank over there. It's called the Fifth Third Bank, and I'm thinking, well, is it the th is it the fifth or the third, or is that a fraction? What yeah, is it? Right. You know what? Yeah. Okay. I always wondered so about it that. is confusing, but um, especially if have your if you have your money in the second third bank, and you go, where, what if you can't find it? I don't. I don't even. I don't even want to think about it. I, I'd have to ask ChatGP. Hey, where the hell's the money at? Uh, yeah, I don't like any numbers in my bank name other than on my statement. There, yeah, right. And in the in big numbers, then you want, preferably, like just like sixty uh, third eight. That's a pretty Very, good yeah, Okay, yeah, yeah. You actually had me thinking there for a minute. What the hell is he talking about? Okay, yeah, I exactly. Got, I That's got what I'm now. trying to tell you. It yeah. takes some hey. studying to get to the bottom of it and anyway. this is chaos right yeah. there, what we had going on. Yeah, introduced right. properly. Wow. This is really cool. So we have something very cool to show our viewers in this episode. If That's what they're called, episodes, right? I guess that sounds right, although we're not you know, a, a series on TV or anything. I think on the internet it's like vlogs or, 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 well, or posts. Vlogs. I, I never heard of vlogs. Episode, yeah, episode, I don't know. Well, does it really matter? No, mm -hmm. probably not. No, I don't think so. All right, so let's move on to with a really neat demonstration. Always looking forward to, to showing people more about uh, ChatGPT in the law. That sounds like a good plan. But first, I've given this matter a lot of thought, and I have a great idea. Oh, okay. What's that? Our viewers are all attorneys and law office staff people, for the most part anyway, right? I would think so. Okay. Well, working in a law office is hard work. It can be long hours, and it's usually tense work. Yeah, that's right. I agree with that. Well, wouldn't it be great to give these people a little relaxation, a little levity, that, that sort of thing? Um, okay, but I'm not sure where you're going with this. Well, don't worry, Larry. It's all, just leave it to me. It's all good. I've got some hilarious material that will lighten the day of our viewers just like a bright sun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you sure about this? Of course. Listen, here's one. My client has kleptomania, but when it gets bad, he takes something for it. <laughs> okay. We can work with that. All right. Well, well it, okay. And what about this? I show my wife who's boss by handing her a mirror. Hmm. Yeah, more, more of a statement there than a joke, though. Okay, I don't think that's reflecting very well on me. Uh, anyway, I'm representing a criminal client who walked into a gun store and bought three guns and a bunch of ammunition. Okay, that's fine. Well, everything was cool until he asked them if they sold ski masks. All right, so this, these are supposed to be jokes, is that what I'm gathering? Wow, okay, yeah, I can see where this is going. Did you know, Larry, that there are more men than women in mental institutions? Mm, I didn't know that, so? Well, it proves, at least, who's driving who crazy, right? <laughs> you know, uh, careful, Ernie, because I know we've, we've gone out of our way to say that our wives don't ever and won't ever uh, tune in to this show, but... Uh, or this episode. The episode. But uh, we should probably be a little a little careful. Well, you know, okay, yeah. It, okay, here's another one, though, Larry. This is a good one. If adult diapers are called depends, baby diapers should be called definitely. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I don't even get that one. <laughs> you know what? I'm not sure that I got that one. I'm wondering where did I get it from. <laughs> but anyway, how about this one? I'm not old. 
I'm becoming a classic. Mm-hmm. Okay. That, that joke might get better with age. Well, that in and of itself is a joke, Larry. You're a funny guy. Oh, thank you. You know, I'm willing to put in longer hours in the office as long as they're lunch hours. Ah, uh, yeah, work humor. No, I, I'm not, not a big fan of work humor. My brother-in-law came over to borrow my lawnmower, and I told him to come back later. She's still sleeping. <laughs> okay, but uh, I like that one. you got to be a little careful, though. Like I said, you never know when uh, the, the, ma the lawn maintenance crew might be listening. Here's my, I don't know if it's my last one, but I may be drinking myself to a slow death. But what the heck? I'm not in a hurry anyway. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's, very, uh, that's a very philosophical. Uh, excuse me, philosophical point that right. I, I, that I enjoy. E that was easy for you to say, Larry. <laughs> and But, uh, you know, okay, you like that last one, but overall, Larry, you are a pretty tough crowd of one today. Yeah, well, I think I stand and, and I, I, I feel like I speak for a lot of our viewers when I say maybe we should just get to the video. That would be a good idea. And it would be nice if I had things set up like I had hoped to well, set up. you got up. that but, nice there, owl there. There we go. That's it. Well, an insurance right. policy, okay. Well, okay. Well, let's say here. Okay, here. Here's the. Here's the. Um, what is it? What am I trying to say? Here's the. Uh, here's the point of what we've been leading up to. In case you were wondering and thinking that, God, do these guys ha even have a point? But yes, we do. And here it is. Let's say I'm handling an automobile insurance case that I have a question about. In the context of chat. The first thing I want to do is download a copy of my policy. That's right. And you uh, would be surprised, or maybe not surprised, to learn that uh, a lot of insurance companies do not want to mail you or create a hard copy of the policy and send it out. So you should be able to find one online. Right. You know, that's exactly what I my experience has been, Larry, is that uh, they, they're, they're trying to cut costs. They're trying to save money. So it's, oh, yeah, but they'll say they're being green. Well, yeah, right, and that's the beauty of it. You know, it's a win-win. <laughs> so, but anyway, uh, you have to, you, you will find your policy online, and, and uh, you may have to click around a bit, but you, you'll eventually find it. That's right, and if you can't, then leave a comment, and we'll find it for you. There you go. I don't know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> don't really do what Larry just said, okay. Okay, now here, yes, I did, and I, I'm gonna. It's a good point to bring up. For whatever reason, Chat GPT did not like the PDF that I downloaded from the insurance company, and I tried it a couple times, and eventually looked at the file in Adobe, and even though I could look at it in Adobe, I couldn't upload it to Chat. Mm. Uh, so I looked at it in Adobe, and I resaved it, mm -hmm. and then everything was okay. So must have been different kinds of PDF formats. I know there's very many kinds of PDF formats, but whatever it was about the original download from the insurance company, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't working. So I'm not I'm not going to jump through those hoops right now. And instead, as you can see, I've already got the PDF file ready, and you see it on my screen. But it's it's important that you brought up that point, Ernie, because I found the same thing. And I, I don't know what it is about the different types of formats, oh. but I've run into that multiple times. And I, I do find, same as you, if I open it up in my own, uh, I have a Mac, so it opens it up in preview and it allows me to export, you know, save it or print it to PDF. Mm -hmm. If I do that, then I have a lot more success uploading the file to ChatGPT and it can read it. Well, Larry, we really have it covered because I'm a Windows guy. You, your main machine is a Mac, so, yeah, we're good. Yeah, it's just the Unix folks that are out of luck. Yeah, there you go. But if well, there are lawyers <laughs> running Unix, boy, I'm yeah, afraid of them. I don't know. Well, once you download the file, here's all you need to do. Upload the file to chat, and, and now I'll ask the question. Okay, and, that, and that's what I'm going to do. Let's see. Uh-oh. Here's my chat. Let's... What am I going to do? Uh, what, how yeah, easy? Gonna... Yeah, I have to find the file, and that might not be... Oh, yeah, you know what? And make sure you find the file you saved, not the original file you downloaded. Uh-oh. See, Ernie, this is the same version of when people have to watch me type. Watching you navigate your file system. Yeah, is well, this is why probably you, just as painful. you do dry runs before you do the real recording, because I'm trying to think. OneDrive documents... Where the heck is that thing? What was it called? Uh, insurance policy. Erie Insurance Policy. I okay, think. so that would be under A. <laughs> A for, for Erie. Yeah. 
Okay, it isn't in this list. I remember you brought well, it up. We might have to edit this part out here. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You want me to tell some jokes while you're surfing <laughs> for it? Yeah, that could All be. the jokes I know are off color. Yeah, we used... And we already used up all my material already. You know, next time we should Ernie. have ChatGPT write some jokes. Downloads. I'm trying to think if I know any off the top of my head. I don't know that many jokes. Wait a minute. No, I'm coming on. Here it is. Erie Insurance Policy. Hey, you got it. But wait a minute. Now, is that the one you downloaded or the one you well, saved? Well, you know what? I, I'm thinking that there's a number three behind it because I tried it several times okay. and it, it took me three times to get it to work. So right, let's we'll just find open out. it up and see what happens. Yeah. Okay. It would have already pooped out if it wasn't accepted. Be like, that. I can't read that. Okay. Well, our viewers may... Our, our viewers... Our viewers may not be able to read it either. I, I hope they can, but you know what? The producer, God love that guy. He, he'll he focus the screen down yeah, that's on that. Right. He's so they good could, at it. So they could see the um, the timer going and everything. Yeah, we but the point is that now chat has the entire policy. Policy, thank you, uh, in its memory or whatever. And so now we could ask a question we about gotta it. we got to send it to it first. Or no, 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 no right. I'm yeah, going to I'm gonna ask a question. Yeah. I'm going to say attached. Watch your focus there. Oops, sorry about that. Let me try that again. Yeah, it's the focus, isn't it? It's always the focus. Mm -hmm. Stay in focus. Attached is my... Look how fast I... Oh, I shouldn't do that. I, don't, I, I, I think a lot... I myself. Didn't you get an email that said the only reason they, they watch our videos is to watch you type? Okay, you know what? Or was that your mom? I was just making that up. Oh, okay. I was lying about it. But the thing that I was going to say is that I have a comment to make about that. Look at me going. I'm typing and, and reading and at the talking. same time. Yeah. About two different subjects. And the thing that I was going to point, that I was going to just say is that I wish that I could play guitar as good as I can type. Mm. Be killer. I would be like Eric Clapton. Or, yeah. or maybe somebody like that. Yeah. Who's younger. I actually, that's how I uh, describe you to people. I, I say it's Ernie the Eric Clapton of the keyboard. <laughs> well, you're a pretty funny guy, Larry. All right, here we go. My car what my do you got some misspellings? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to clean that up right now. And I presume everybody can read this. I'll read it out loud. Attached is my automobile policy. My car was parked in my garage, and a raccoon got inside and caused thousands of dollars of damage to the interior. Is this covered under the terms of my policy? And you know what? I'll tell you something. The um, This is almost like a half-true story because my, my wife had a boat, and raccoons got under the cover, I guess in the wintertime, or, and they... Oh, they destroyed the interior of that boat. So that's where I got the idea. Holy for, cow. Yeah, that's where I got the idea for this question. So now, okay, here we go. I'm clicking on the send. And what's going to happen here is that it's reading the entire policy. Man, that's something else, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's pretty amazing stuff. That's why we're doing these videos. Otherwise, if it was just boring stuff, we wouldn't bother with it. Or we, I just like or we would have had more jokes in it. Yeah, it? a couple more jokes maybe. Or what is it saying here? I don't know. I can't read it. I got to put my spectacles on. Okay, here now I'll go. Based on your insurance policy, it appears that the damage caused by to your car by the raccoon. Oh yeah, this is right on the point. It's covered under the terms of your policy. The policy states that if you have purchased comprehensive coverage, it will pay for the loss less the deductible. And that includes contact with animals, among other things. So, mm. and, and, look well, at that. Yeah. H how long did that take? Mm. I mean, my God, that was pretty quick. And, and, and I, I think that's pretty cool. And if you're wondering, Larry pointed out last time when we were making a video that this is a link that you can click on that would take you, I don't know if it would take you to the exact section of the policy, but at least it would bring up the policy. Right. So, all cool stuff. Yeah, really nice. And, of course, we would 
interject now that if you're using uh, ChatGPT as a tool to read policies or contracts, you're definitely going to want to follow up and make sure that, that, that all your, your I's are dotted and T's are crossed, as it were. Um, but this will give you a quick answer, right? Right. Larry, that is the most important thing practically. The, the more I hear about it, uh, the, the more important I think it, it, it comes in my estimation is that you always have to double check what chat does. Mm, that's right. It gives you a great starting point, but you got to do the legwork. You got to you got to finalize uh, the answer before you pass it on to somebody else. And it's excellent that you keep bringing that up, Larry, because you, you can't repeat that enough. We we've already covered in earlier videos about the mm -hmm. the Ma, the Mata attorney and Mata versus Avianca Airlines, and, mm -hmm. and gee, I think the guy got fined five thousand dollars because he never checked up on chat and uh, yes. chat's legal citations. All right. And then we had what was it law students at a at a um, or paralegals that that had prepared a brief, mm -hmm. and they all got fired. Yeah, right. Yeah, so you, yeah, that's really important what Larry just said it's about. It's going to save you a lot of time, but you, it doesn't eliminate the work that has to be done. So since you displayed this and you showed me this before before we did this video, I wanted to take some time and kind of think about it. And then I thought, you know what, Ernie, this this fits really well within the new feature in ChatGPT, which is called Jet, ChatGPTs with an S. Right? Okay, right, right. Where you can create your own ChatGPT. So I, uh, I decided that I was going to run through this policy into a ChatGPT. And so that, here, let's start okay, over. Okay, very cool. What, what, do you want me to do something yeah, here let's at the go keyboard? Over there to that, to that, to that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, policy insight. There, there we go. Click on the. Go back. Actually, it's it's saved on your toolbar there. Go back and click on it. It's in the. Or go back to the Chat GPT window. Here, okay. And then on the left oh, side, here, right here. Uh, all the way to the left. Oh yes, policy, policy insight. insight. Okay, okay, I'm there. So I'll tell our viewers what we're looking at here. So oh, we don't even need to go to this one then. No, I don't think so. All right. Uh, it's so yeah, it's right here, and this is a Chat GPT. So, Chat GPT launched this ability to create your own AI, basically, and it'll take what OpenAI created, which is the the general Chat GPT that can answer any question, and it'll kind of narrow its focus and make it specific to a certain set of uh, you know data or, or or piece of information. Okay. So what I did for our piece for for this GPT that I created is I uploaded your insurance policy. Uh -huh. And what I also did was I went into ChatGPT and I said, give me a job description for a paralegal that is an expert in reading insurance policies and, and other contracts and finding issues and answering questions about it, et cetera, et cetera. It wrote me that description and I used that to create the chat you know the new gpt based on your insurance policy so if you're looking at this screen here you can see now hopefully our producer will zoom in and you can see the questions that had already kind of pre-populated that you can ask it about the policy okay and we can we can ask it a question now if we ask it a question it's going to be different than the normal chat gpt because if we ask this to the normal chat gpt the general one it would go off and find some answer that's got nothing to do with your policy but if we ask it here it's going to be specific to the policy so sticking with the genre that you you started with let's ask it what happens if uh, one of my pets gets hurt in an accident oh boy look at that typing I yeah tell you. making a lot of mistake here In, what kind of an accident? In the mm. automobile yeah, accident? Auto, well, yeah, it's going to know because it, it should know. You shouldn't even have to say that because it, it knows that it's an automobile policy. But go ahead. You know, before I hit the um, send button on here, I was just thinking, wouldn't it be nice if, if OpenAI gave names to their features and functions that made sense? Like, oh, God. You remember, wouldn't that be great? Remember Code Interpreter and yeah. you were wondering, what the hell does this thing do? Right. And now we have chat GPTs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you're... If you're really keen on this thing, it's there. It's not ChatGPT. It's ChatGPTs. Yeah. So. Okay. There's an S on the end of it. Really, couldn't they have thought of something that was easier to pronounce and I, made more sense? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't it like almost that. seems like a deliberate attempt to name it something confusing or that's not helpful. And that's all the more reason I like it. 
You know, it would be nice if they had access at OpenAI to like a, a chat GPT. They could say, hey, what should we name this? Okay. <laughs> well, you're right. Yeah, or make like a contest or something. I don't know. Anyway, here, okay, that was enough of a filibuster. I'm hitting the send message Let's button. See. Here we go, right now. Boy, the, the plot thickens. Yeah. You know, if we really wanted to build up the excitement here, I could do this. Alexa, play me a drum roll. Okay. Oh, man. Is that pretty good? You know you what? like that, Larry? Yeah, and I would guess within a couple of years, you'll be able to have a little chat GPT uh, uh, here that would listen to what we were talking about and automatically play a drum roll, assuming that, that, that... Or there would be needed. a little, little drummer come out and actually... Play, no, so, uh, if you look at this and, and uh, cross-reference it to the actual policy, you'll see that this is, is spot on, like you said, with the first one. This is exactly what the policy says. What did it, okay, it, okay, yeah, it, it is, huh? Did you already check this yeah, out? Yeah, I wanted to make sure, obviously, so that I could double-check it, but yeah, it hit it, man. All right, look at that. Mm -hmm. We can leave that. Five hundred dollars a pet, and up to up to a thousand if you've got multiple pets in the back seat. You know, you, wow. you got to be careful. I'm going to drive everywhere with my pets. Well, they don't wear seatbelts, do they? They're, <laughs> yeah, well, they're, they're worth five hundred dollars. I don't. I hope we're. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, and I shouldn't have said that because I don't want to give people. A, Hey, I need five hundred dollars. Yeah, gonna, right. I'm gonna or, kill my kitty cat. No, don't do that. Okay. Or the opposite. Right. Right. We, we weren't even. We weren't even thinking you. of that. <laughs> no, my my dog's worth way more than five hundred dollars. It's at least seven hundred and fifty. My little kitty. Yeah, I like her. I wouldn't trade her for five hundred bucks or yeah. any uh, any amount of money. Oh, really? Wow. Okay. Yeah. No. She, uh, you know, you get attached to the little yes. kitty cats and the little doggies and things um, like that. Even yeah. if they're not little, Unlimited. you still get attached to them. Well, anyway, hey, what do I hear in the background? I think it's the music that signals the end of our crack production team probably wants us to wrap things up. Yeah, right. I think you're, you're right. So let's just finish up by talking about our book, ChatGPT and the Law, a Comprehensive Guide to AI and the Law Offices. Uh, great book that covers a lot of the stuff we're talking about here. Obviously, this, the, you know, things that come up that are newer, we'll, we'll talk about in our videos. But the, it, it's a great starting point, and you can find it up on our landing page, ai.puritassprings.com. Puritassprings.com. There you go. And uh, it's also available on Amazon. Nice. Um, Twelve ninety five in the digital, fifteen ninety nine in the pa paperback. And you always say, Ernie, and I don't know if you were going to say this or not, huh. but if you buy it on Amazon, you know, do your us and yourself a favor and reach out to us on on a oh. comment or an email and yeah, let us know. Yeah, for sure. Right. Right. Because. because we, because Amazon, I guess, in the for the purposes of privacy, they don't let us know. Yeah. And, and, and so if there's an update or some important information, corrections, whatever, enhancements, uh, we have no way of letting you know. Yeah. And there so, will be. Yeah. There have been. So. Okay. Also, if the subjects Larry and I cover interest you, don't forget to like, share, and or subscribe to the Pure to Spring software channel. We're thrilled. To welcome new and old friends and we'd love to have you along and i'm very sincere when i mean that right on Ernie. we we hope you enjoy watching our videos as more as much as we enjoy making them that's right in closing remember if you like us we will like you so until next time stay healthy safe happy that's it yeah well, that wraps it up it covers all